Welcome to this quick guide to This Is England, which appears on Educas's A-level film studies in section C. And we're going to cover the key aspects of film form, otherwise known as SCAMP, for sound, cinematography, editing, mise-en-scene, and performance. Okay, Shane Meadows is on record as saying this is his most personal film and most autobiographical film. And his dominant use of SCAMP is to create uh, a social realist film. And some of the techniques he employs are handheld camera work, so it feels more natural. He shoots on location, so he does not use, use a studio. The dialogue feels improvised. Uh, Tom Tagus, who plays uh, Sean, uh, had not acted before uh, starring in this film. Uh, lighting feels quite natural. Uh, and he uses a lot of reaction shots and tight framing to really show off the performance of the actors involved. Uh, the film uh, was released in 2006, uh, so the color grading is applied to make it look and feel like it's from the 80s, uh, and that comes under the aesthetic of the film, but that is achieved um, holistically. So a quick look at sound. The soundtrack features some very uh, seminal tracks, uh, the most important one being uh, 5446 was not my number by Toots and the Maytals. That was one of Jamaica's first breakout hits in the UK, so it's very significant. Um, and then um, it shows the racial inclusivity of Scar, uh, which was a music movement popular during the first wave of skinheads when it was not it did not have the uh, racial connotations as well. Uh, you also have some uh, neoclassical music from Ludovico Inaldi um, and pay attention to when his music plays and try and get a, a translation of those tracks. Uh, they appear as Italian names if you Shazam them, uh, but when you translate, one of them uh, translates to not of this world um, and that shows when um, Combo's negative influence during the second montage uh, when he is causing uh, mayhem along with Sean. Cinematography used, um, Sh Sean is shown to be uh, quite isolated in the frame, so lots of uses of, of extreme wide or wide shots to show how small he is. Uh, but then further on in the film when he is radicalized uh, and he joins a combos gang, we get those tighter shots where the camera is placed lower down giving him that power before returning in a very cyclical motion to uh, the end scene where he returns to the beach before throwing the flag into the sea where the camera um, uh, shows how small and vulnerable he is uh, within that frame. Mise-en-scene plays a big part in the film. A reminder that mise-en-scene includes costumes. So we've got the uh, the skinhead uniform, the first wave using Harrington jackets. You've got the Ben Sherman shirts. You've got the quarter-inch braces. You've got the bleached jeans and you've got the military boots. You've got hair, the, the skinheads, and also uh, how the females wear their hair within the film, uh, makeup, settings and location, uh, and their significance. So uh, costume is used to signify the paradox of the skinhead culture, the first wave versus the second wave. So the first wave not being born from racism, uh, but by a fusion of Jamaican and white working class uh, people working together uh, and sharing their music and fashion. Uh, tattoos are quite significant as well. We've got the tattoo on Woody and Combo's foreheads show how while skinheads uh, looked the same, they had different ideologies. And a few more facts, uh, color grading is used to give the film an 80s feel, even though it was made in 2006. Uh, the image on the right shows a, a very blue and cold uh, color grade uh, where the uh, Combos gang is outside the Church of Christ and we see that uh, Maggie is a twat, which appears about four times on screen. Uh, and then when Sean is being radicalized and the second time we see that montage when he's in the tunnel spray painting his name, we get that green tinge as well. So color grading is used overall, but in certain moments it also communicates a, a feeling uh, and an, an additional meaning. Uh, Sean spray paints his name um, while the rest of Combo's gang spray paint racial slurs. It shows he's still quite innocent, does not fully understand what he's getting himself into, but we know that he's vulnerable. His dad's just died in the Falklands War. Um, and he is um, joined this surrogate f uh, family, as it were, um, with Combo being his uh, surrogate father figure. Uh, Meadows, throughout the film, um, ultimately he displays an anti-Thatcher, anti-nationalist, and anti-war ideology.